Hello everybody and welcome to a chatty sewing catch up where I'll tell you all about my sewing I did for Sew Yellow for Endo, what I bought and all other things sewing related. So if there's something you'd like to see, stick around. Well everybody, it's been a bit of a weird order in my vlogs recently. So normally this goes up on a Sunday but we've got me today on Wednesday instead and um, whilst this is being worked on I'm in a virtual social I've got the day off work so I'm doing a daytime one which I don't often get to do so there's that happening and of course on Sunday I did my vlog about colour so if you haven't seen that do hop over and have a look at that episode and then we had So Yellow for Endo on Saturday, the party. I feel all a bit discombobulated. So let's get started on what's been going on. So as I say, last Saturday was the day to put up the So Yellow for Endo sewing. And I saw Instagram turn yellow for the day, which is fantastic. I am wearing one of my entries, which is also um, a free pattern. It's called the One Hour top or the, yeah the one hour top i'll link it it's from crazy tiger crafts i want to say so it's got like sort of like this dolman sleeve or bat wing and it's it's a really nice straightforward simple top <laughs> but it took me the longest was actually <laughs> sticking the pdf together the sewing was not a problem it's only two pieces you just hem the top hem the edges and so on but it was yeah it's a nice shape which is nice to have um so i was finishing that the friday night or even the saturday morning before i went to the say yellow friendo party in the evening i also um denied about whether to wear this for the party which is a tammy handmade naya but i've done it in woven and i've put bio spine around there it does make the neck stand up a little bit but it's quite a nice look i think if i did it again I would just trim away the neck a bit so that when the bias binding's on, it wouldn't be so sort of stand uppy. But I'll put a bit stand uppy. It's going to be one of those vlogs today. I'll put a picture in here of me wearing it. It's great because of the colours in it, it's so easy to pair with other things. And actually, I'll show you the third thing, which is the yellow skirt. So here it is with this elastic waist that I got from Abercom. And this is just tears. I just self drafted it. It's just rectangles gathered and attached together this would have worked perfectly with that as well if we look there so i did um and but i went with the banana fabric which i don't think they've got anymore which was rainbow fabric so i use it for a toile for a shirocco jumpsuit um i don't know about six months ago and i had a bit left so i thought it was a perfect thing to make so this is the outfit i wore to the party well done to jess she has bust her fundraising efforts this year and also it was so lovely to see everyone in their yellow outfits i know i say i can't wear full yellow by my face but actually a room full of people with a predominant yellow theme was a really joyful room to be in and um, we were talking about the fact that sometimes when i'm out and about in the world as a colorfully dressed person and some other people were saying this you look across at everybody in their very dark coloured jackets and coats and their dark coloured trousers and the world can look a very dull place. And I just wonder sometimes why, why are we all buying, obviously not me, but why are we all buying black and navy coats? The world is a hard enough place and a dreary enough place in February, January, March time without putting in on a dull coloured coat as well. Let, let's have joy in all those moments and looking across a room full of people I'll put some pictures in all with some element of yellow or that kind of thing to their outfit was a lovely thing I've never been to the Sony Sunshine shop before um, it's very easy to find I've realised it's less than an hour from my home that's risky um, and only half an hour from where I work even more risky and it was so lovely to see her fabrics in real life. There were fabrics there that haven't even gone on the website yet. Um, and I will definitely be going back to visit again. Hayley and, I'm really sorry, the other lady that worked with Hayley, 
gorgeous people and it was lovely to be with people chatting about fabric chatting about other things meeting people in real life again love it so i'm sure you want to see what did i get from the sony sunshine well very sunshiny yellow bag let's start with my sensible purchase this is um a cotton and it's got a sort of got like that cut out work to it and that for me is going to be a, a blouse or a shirt I was thinking of the Bakerloo maybe or um, I really want to kind of go 80s with like big sleeves and something so it might be a vintage pattern I've got so that was my first purchase and it wasn't an hour till I went back round again I'm really pleased with that because it is so nice to have like that sort of really soft white blouse so then my second one with a plane as well and it was this orange double gauze this is super soft I've realized that actually um, this sort of pumpkin color for me is is a great color and I was thinking some kind of either summer trousers or uh, some kind of sort of straightforward summer dress in this. I'll actually put a picture in here because I popped in John Lewis the other day. I don't often go in, but I was looking at um, laptops because I, I think I have to face the fact that the fact that half my keyboard doesn't work is a problem. And um, I just thought I'll have a look at the clothes and I was looking at, was it Nobody's Child, I think? And I tried on a sort of pumpkin colored dress, which is very, very much the shape of the bell dress and um i realized that actually for me it was nice to try it on to see it was a color that worked well on me but also um it was a slightly less complicated version of the bell dress which has encouraged me to look in my stash to see if i have another waist yoke style dress to sew up so possibly in this i don't think i got enough um but I tried on some other dresses, so just pause on the shopping for a minute. I'll put them in here while I'm talking. It was good to try on things that are pre-made because it reminds me why I make my own clothes. None of them fit me correctly. Um, either too low in the bust or too much room in the shoulders. You'll see in the denim one, it needed taken up about an inch or so at the shoulders and then it would have fit nicely. The blouse with the big collar is lovely, but too low. Um, the green, I really liked the shearing, but then the way the fabric behaved across my bust looked odd. But there were, it was really helpful because I'm still on my mission to find my go-to sort of easy breezy summer dress pattern. Um, I Obviously I have the seasons of each, but that's more of like a go-to work, go out one. I want like a chilling, throw on, whip into town kind of one sort of the kind you'd make in double gauze etc so it was nice to try on some shapes to think about I did make some other purchases in John Lewis including another pair of reading glasses um, but uh, none of them were quite right and I have to say it made me think if they were would I purchase one but very interesting they were about £85 these dresses I had a look in the green one it had a sleeve head in there because the sleeve was popping out nicely so it was quite nice now with my <clears throat> sort of increased sewing knowledge to look at what was going on in those dresses as well right back to this and this would fit with what I just talked about Jess and I have both bought this one this one's a seersucker and this reminds me of vintage St Michael so I've got a darker colour version of this as a dress as a vintage St Michael's um, for anyone who doesn't know St Michael's was the name that Marks and Spencers used to have in their clothes in the 80s and 90s um, and actually probably back I think to the 60s and you can tell the age of the item by which font and label they use um, I love vintage St Michael's clothing um, but this is 80s dream so Jess has got enough to make a top or a smaller dress I've gone for enough to go full-blown bell dress style summer dress style so if you've got a pattern suggestion for this remembering 80s dreams is what I'm looking for here do let me know 
And then the final piece I got from Sony Sunshine was this jersey. How could I not? Um, and I'm probably going to make a really simple, either like this one or just a nice simple top. I got, I think, a metre and a half because I can just make a nice top to throw on with lots of different colours, trousers and skirts. I'm doing quite well at thinking about tops, which is good. Now, talking about summer dresses and double gauze, I've forgotten something. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back again. So I've been thinking a lot about double gauze. This yellow skirt I've got on is a, a cheap double gauze, so it's not great. Um, you could see that it could easily pull. But um, what I have been thinking about is lovely Angela, who comes to my um, real and virtual social. She made the Seasons of East summer in New York dress in a green double gauze, and it looked really nice. And as I say, I've made trousers before in um, double gauze. And I think it's a really nice fabric for making things where you want that soft, cool and or warm feel. Um, I'd never really rated double gauze till I started actually going to shops and feeling it. I think when you look at it online, it can put you off. But when you start feeling the fabric, you it's changed my mind. Um, and it's not a fabric I've really had in my stash before. So I got in my head that um, after trying on this double gauze dress in on this, I really wanted to make a summer dress. And so I was searching and I was thinking about pink because I think pink is a, is a good colour for me in lots of ways, including the fact that I like it. Um, and so I, I was searching and Hobbycraft had have their double gauze at six pounds a meter at the moment i'll link it below hopefully they've still got some in so i've got three meters of the pink and it is as good quality as i was hoping it would be and i got two meters of the mint because i felt a they went really nicely together but b this could make a dress i mean you could even do the waist yoke in that that would be interesting but i could even maybe get like a little bit of like one of these nice strawberry double gauzes for a, a bit of detail or something i have already been lying in bed thinking about um making a seasons of east in this but actually really shortening the sleeve because obviously the sleeve is big and kimono style down here and i was thinking if i really shortened it then i could wear tops underneath with this until we got to the those magical warm days that we occasionally get um and then without it so experiment in coming with that and i'll update you soon so what else have i been doing well i've been working on my so frugal I have made the Closet Core t-shirt twice, I don't know, twice, no, once so far, I've cut out a second one, I've made another one of these, I have cut out the pencil skirt, I've cut out the tilde as well, and I'm about to cut out the, um, that cow necked one I showed you. So I've got four days to get all of the so food done, but luckily, as I say, today I've got the day off work, I'm doing a virtual social, so those things cut out me and I should be able to get a reasonable amount done today. But I've got time, it's it, it's the Easter weekend as well. And if I don't get them done for so frugal, I'm still going to do them anyway because I chose things that I really wanted to wear. The other thing I've got on my list is to take this that I bought from Abercom and I'm going to do a, a, a sew along for the t-shirt style dress with the gathers that I wear. So I've got three of them already. I'll put the pictures in here. And I often get asked either on vlogs or in real life, what's the pattern? And there isn't a pattern. And so I thought I would do a sew along so that you can all make it too if you like it. Um, one of them is the amazing leopard print one, which I wore to the Sewing for Pleasure. But again, people are asking me what the pattern was. So incoming of that. What I've also been working on is a kind of sew along slash review of the jersey dress by My Handmade Wardrobe. That's the one I made for the Sewing for Pleasure. I've made two more since then. One of them I put in as an entry for Sew Yellow for Endo, so I'll put the picture here. But there's another one of those incoming as well. I didn't go to the Stitch Festival last weekend. I went to the Sew Yellow for Endo party, but I didn't go to the Stitch Festival. And listening to what people said, I'm glad I went to the Sewing for Pleasure one not stitch. It did look amazing and I did have FOMO but it looked so busy. I think I'd have 
I'd have got overwhelmed and I wouldn't have known where to start if I'd gone on the Saturday. So Jess and I are talking about the fact that we might go next year, but we might go on a weekday. So I'm going to save a day's leave to be able to go on a weekday with her. And um, I think hopefully if we go on maybe the Thursday or the Friday, it'll be a bit quieter or possibly the Sunday. It was really lovely seeing all the pictures of all the vloggers meeting up. And that that's the bit that gave me FOMO is I, I'm really enjoying meeting people in real life. But I just think, I, I mean, queuing to get in, queuing for a drink, uh, yeah. So um, if you want to hear more thoughts about events, Jess and I's latest podcast of So What's New is an episode all about events with Gordis Tamlin of Sewn on the Tyne and Becky from Becky's Sewing Studio. So we've got two people there who've gone to events as either attendees or as a shop owner and also you've got Jess's perspective as well and and mine we talk about like how to not spend too much money how to deal with like I had the FOMO and and so on but I tell you what 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 worked well for me was the excitement of knowing I was going to the So Yellow for Endo party and I love meeting people there and chatting and that was for me those three hours was perfect because I could remember who I spoke to and I didn't feel overwhelmed and I got to buy fabric too, so it was great. Um, what else am I up to? I, I've got a list at the moment because my brain is so full of ideas. Um, I will be doing a spring sewing update soon. I know it's only been spring a little while, but I have been doing like the Legend Textile Sewing. And I think it's really nice for you to see what I'm doing with the things that I showed in previous videos as well. I must finish that quilted jacket. Um, and of course, um, there is the amazing vlogger box that Christine's putting out and I've got one of those to work on too. So this is another one of Christine and I's ideas from when we went away and um, we've got the permission of the person. So if you've ever seen Gogglebox or similar where you're watching people watching TV, this is us watching a sewing vlogger talking about it there is visuals in there as well we don't reveal who they are to the end so it gives you the chance to guess as well we'd love to know what you think it's one of our woo ideas we have had great feedback on a lot of our other ideas so we'd love to know if you like this one too because if you do we did film some other ones and i can edit and put that together for you as well and i know that i'm gonna film um uh, how to make your own pattern weights as well so um yeah just 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 a few things um most of those it will be going into april um i've seen the so long sleeves coming up for april no 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 blouse blouse is april's challenge i'm not sure whether i'm going to take part intentionally or accidentally or not at all um I said before, and I think it's important for me to say to myself again, I only want to take part in challenges that, that push me with my sewing in a positive way. So Sew so Frugal is good because it encourages me to find free patterns and also use fabric I've got, and I really like that. So Yellow yeah, Friendo, really important because of the awareness raising. So sewing wise, lots on the horizon. Next weekend, I will update you on my So Frugal makes because by then, hopefully, I'll have them done. And um, I will work out which of the sew alongs to release. I'll try and get back in my correct rhythm. But Christine and I, next Wednesday, have got the final um, vlog episode that we created whilst away in Anglesey. And this one is a really interesting sweatshirt pattern from a French company so that's coming out next Wednesday as well so I do worry a bit that maybe you've had enough of me because the last few weeks has been like poof, 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 of things but we're gonna get back into the rhythm back into sort of things but March has just been a, a very busy month is all I can say really um so I would love to know your thoughts on this fabric what pattern remembering 80s dreams i'd love to see you in a virtual social if you fancied coming there is another one later on in april i'll put the link below and i'd love to know what you think about the podcast too because this episode has two gorgeous guests as well so 
back to a bit of normal chat, which is nice, isn't That's it? What I want to um, say. So this pattern, I will give you more details about my size, adjustments, etc. In the Sew Frugal update, because I showed another one for that. I, I, I'm aware that sometimes people want to know like what size and things I've sewn up. So going forward, when I talk in more detail about a pattern, I will tell you which size and which adjustments and also what my size is my body size because i think that's really quite helpful i've realized that that helps me because like when i'm sewing up the tilde i was really confused which size to choose so i will particularly when i do like the sew frugal one with the free patterns i will try and give you that level of detail if there is anything else that you would like me to include or have as a vlog please let me know i had really lovely feedback on the fact that people were saying thank you that I did the colour one based on people requesting it and so that's really nice. I really want to keep building our lovely little community, this little corner of the internet as I call it and so my interactions with you are the thing that keep me excited and keep me going and um, yeah I better go and get ready for sewing in the virtual social hadn't I? So I'll catch you again soon. Bye.